Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Again, another beautiful day that God's gave us. Amen. As always, we ask to send you prayers today. But if you find your place, Matthew chapter 24. I want to start reading in verse 36. Matthew chapter 24, starting in verse 36. The scripture says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So also shall the coming of the son of man be. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, mm -hmm. the Son of Man cometh. Amen. Mm -hmm. We'd ask if you would to bow your heads. Father, again, we thank you for your precious word. And Lord, uh, again, I ask that you'd overcome my inability. Bless you, Lord. Lord, you let the message go out the way it needs to go out today and put the words in our mouth that need said. Father, if there be a need of burden, we pray be brought unto you. And again, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask all these things in Christ's name. And amen. 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 <coughs> Another year ended and still no change. Another year ended and still no change. Folks, it is December 31st. We have come through another trip around the sun, as one of the guys at work likes to phrase it. And folks, there's no change. There's no change. And that's what he, he says here in Matthew. Uh, listen, it, it, it's been another year. <laughs> And you still haven't changed. It's been another year and you still haven't changed. And he says that, listen, that day, that, that final day that's coming, he says no one knows when that's going to be. Right. That's right. Listen, the angels don't know. Right. right. Christ himself in one of the other gospels, Mary says, listen, I don't even know. That's right. But the Father only. Amen. But, folks, what I can tell you is, guess what? There's been another year. And Jessica, people have wasted it. Yeah, that's right. Because there's been no change. Amen. There's been no change. And, and well, why do people do that? Why do people just go on and on and, and there's no change in their life? Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, I believe, around verse 3. He says, Knowing this first, that in the last days there shall come scoffers walking after their own lust. Right. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Yeah. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Mm -hmm. So even in Peter's time, yeah. he could look and say, listen, they look and they say, well, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. It's just like last week. It's just like last year. Okay, you keep saying that Christ is coming back, but he hasn't. Mommy and daddy's in the ground. Grandma and grandpa's in the ground. Uncle uh, whatever's in the ground. And guess what? He's still not here. Scoffers. Yeah. That's right. Walking after their own. Folks, scoffers. Listen, I don't got to worry about that. I believe Proverbs, Joe, tells us the fool has said there is no God. That's right. That's what it says. The fool says, guess what? There's not a judgment day coming. There's not a day that I'm going to be accountable. And that's what Peter said. Listen, there are those that are walking around now knowing this in the last days. Yes. If Peter said that it was the last days, then folks, where do you think you're at on the timeline? Right. 
Amen. Bill, if the last days was right here, yeah. we're right here, Amen. folks. Amen. We are right there. Yes. But that's what they say. They said, listen, well, everything's just like it was since I was little. And he still hadn't come back. Folks, he's coming back. Yes. Amen. And you know what it said? And we read this and it said this in two different places, that he'll come in an hour that you think not. That's right. Amen. Everybody's big on prophecy now, Bill, because of what's happened in, in Israel. Yeah. Folks, listen, you can study this and study this, and you can come up with a general time. And you know what, Mike? He says a thousand days with the Lord, yeah. or a thousand years is one day, and one yes. day is a thousand years. Amen. Amen. Folks, listen, you can't put a timetable on when all this is going to happen. That's right. But what I can tell you yeah. with absolute certainty, Becky, is yeah. that he is coming at an hour when people yes. aren't expecting. That's right. Amen. Amen. He said, as it was in the days of Noah. Listen, in those days it said right up until the day that he entered into the ark. Yes. They were eating and drinking. Yeah. They were marrying and giving in marriage. They were going about their daily lives like they had nothing to worry about, Sandy. Right. right. But it said that after Noah entered into the ark, that God shut him in, and then what? The flood came and took them all yes. away. All the good moral people. Mm -hmm. All yeah. the drunks. <laughs> yeah. All the prostitutes. Guess what, yeah. folks? They was all floating in water. Yep. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because they wasn't ready. Amen. Another year it ended, and guess what? They wasn't ready. Yeah. Folks, there are a lot of people that they've wasted another year. Yes. They've wasted another year. Uh, Jeremiah 8.20, I believe. He says, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. That's right. Jeremiah could look, and he, he was, uh, he's known as the wailing prophet. Right. Okay? And he had looked at God and said, Lord, uh, listen. The summer's past. The harvest is past, and we're still not saved. We're still in bondage. We're still suffering. Folks, there are people that they base their spiritual life on, I'll do it next week. I'll do it next year. That's right. When we come off the hill to come to church today, there was a guy running, Bill. And I thought, now, boy, there's a guy that's already getting the jump. He's not waiting until tomorrow to start his resolution. He's done start running today. Folks, listen. 365 days have passed. All the promises that you made yeah. to God, guess what? Yeah. It's done. I'm going to go to church more this year. It's done. Yeah. I'm going to read more this year. Yeah. That's done. Amen. I'm going to witness more this year. Yeah. That's done. That's right. And nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. That's right. There are people that guess what? This morning, Joe, they're still in bed. Yeah. They're still in front of the TV. Yeah. They're still at the house. They're still wherever that was more important than coming to church. Amen. Amen. Mary, today there are people that guess what? They still haven't cracked open this book other than when they are in the house of God. That's right. Amen. There are still people that, guess what, 365 days later, I'm going to get closer to God. Guess what? Time's up. Yeah. Yeah. Time's up. Another year ended and nothing has changed. Another year ended and nothing has changed. Now, folks, listen. It isn't like that God doesn't give clues. It isn't like that God doesn't say, wake up. Amos chapter 4, uh, starting around verse 6. He says, I have given you whiteness of teeth in all your cities and a want of bread in all your places. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Well, how did they have this pearly white teeth? There wasn't no close-up back then. There wasn't no crest. There wasn't no whatever. You know why they had white teeth? They had nothing to eat. Yeah. Folks, guess what? It's easy to keep clean teeth when you don't got anything to, to get them dirty. Right. He said, listen, I, I, I've caused this famine, and 
yet you still won't come tell me. There are those today that guess what? They've lost their job. They've lost their income. It's hard for them to pay for groceries. Folks, I guess I can't remember whatever the inflation is now, but whatever it was, Bill, a year ago, you're paying $200, $300 more. And Becky, that's not like in a year. That's like in a month. Mm -hmm. Folks, guess what? He gives clues. Yeah. <laughs> he gives clues that, listen, I've took away all this uh, that you just take for granted and says you haven't come to me. Yeah. He said, I've caused it to rain on one place and to not rain in others. Right. So that it'll rain in one city and two or three other cities will come to it, and yet they're not satisfied. And that there's uh, three months yet to the harvest, and I've withheld the rain. And he said, and yet you will not come to me. You will not return unto me, saith the Lord. Folks, watch the news. Mm -hmm. yeah, Out west, right. what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Bill, he shut off the spigots <coughs> in certain places. That's right. And there are places that hardly... The city of Los Angeles and Las Vegas were just desert. Mm -hmm. You know why, why they have life? Because they have siphoned off water mm -hmm. that was going somewhere else. Yeah, sure. And Mike, guess what? Those farmers in those other places, they're a little angry. Because mm -hmm. they're taking their water that they could use for crops to fuel <laughs> these sin cities. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 Bad preacher. You shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> Folks, come on. He's did this to countries. Yes. 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 Folks, it, it's hard for you to imagine that, you know what? At one time, Ethiopia yeah. was a lush yes. green place, Bill. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Because of sin, yes. he shut off the rain. Yeah, that's right. Folks, do you not think that he'll do that to Elkview? Mm -hmm. Do you not think that he'll do that to Charleston? Right. Do you not think that he'll do that to the United States? Sure he will. Yeah. Right. He said, listen, I did this, and yet you haven't returned them. He said, uh, when your, your gardens and your vineyards, your fig trees and your olive trees have increased, he said, yet the palmer worm has come and devoured them. Yeah. He said, yet have you not returned unto me? Right. Folks, you know why all these companies invest so much into growing stuff in these factories and warehouses now? Because of the bugs and the, the pestilence, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. All these farmers, guess what? Joe, one bad storm yeah. Yeah. and the crop's done. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And the crop's done. Folks, he gave signs in Amos' time. He's still giving signs today that guess what? Amen. You better wake up. Amen. You better wake up. But he said, listen, in spite of all that, I've took all away your crops and you haven't returned unto me. Right, right. He says, I sent pestilence among you after the manner of Egypt. Folks, you remember when Moses came to get the children of Israel? In Egypt... Ten plagues fell on the land. Yeah. But God's people in Goshen were spared. That's Bill. right. Amen. Not, not one frog, not one bit of lice, not one drop of water turned into blood. That's right. But in that short amount of history, guess what? Now he says, listen, I've set pestilence among you just like I did in Egypt. Yeah. yeah. Folks, what's going on today? Pestilence. Yes. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> you would think that COVID would have scared some people back in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You would think after however many million people dying, that would have woke yeah. some people up. Yeah. But he said, yet you've not returned unto me, saith the right. Lord. Amen. Yet you've not returned unto me, saith the Lord. He sends nine plagues. You think that that would have got enough people to woke up? And there were those in Egypt begging Pharaoh, guess what? Let him go. Yeah. Let him go. But you know when Pharaoh woke up? When pestilence came to his house. That's right. Amen. 
Hardly, he watched all of his people dying in the streets. It never affected him. But when it was his son, yes. then you know what? Get out. Yeah. Just go. Folks, there are people that they've watched their friends' kids, yeah. their, their neighbors' kids. They've watched pestilence overtake. Yeah. Folks, that we live in a time of pestilence. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. It's not bulls. It's not that. It's meth. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's drugs. That's right. That's right. Yes. And we've yes. watched how many people perish. Yes. And yet they just shrug their shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Another year and nothing's changed. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what he told him. He said, listen, I've set pestilence after the manner of Egypt. I have slain your young men. Mm -hmm. Folks, watch the news and guess what? Yes. There will be a shooting somewhere. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. And Bill, it used to be that it was just gang violence. Yeah. Now it's not gang violence. Mm -hmm. Mary referenced that this morning. Yeah. Uh, listen, some guy just goes to work and yes. loses his mind, Mary. Yeah. And people that just come to, to get a, a biscuit, yeah. a lady just walking out to take her trash out. Yeah. Right. Folks, we live in a time of pestilence. Yes, we do. We live in a time where God has slain and slain and slain, and we just shrug our shoulders, Mike. True. Well, that's just the way it is. Folks, that's what Pharaoh did. He shrugged his shoulders, yeah. Mary, until guess what? Yeah. It was his son. Personally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Folks, how many times is God going to have to give a clue <coughs> until it has to be your son? Yeah, right. Your daughter. Right. Your husband. Yeah. Your parents. Folks, I can guarantee you this. Somebody's going to die this week. Yes, they will. Mm -hmm. Yes, they Amen. will. Somebody's going to be murdered. Yeah. Somebody's going to overdose. Yeah. All these things are going to happen. Lance and Cadence and Charlie, they started middle school this year. Yeah. Guys, I don't want to scare you and I don't want to uh, make you feel bad, but I'm going to tell you something that's absolutely true. There are people that you are going to school with now that yeah. won't make it to graduation. True. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Some of it will be from illness. Yes. Some of it, it may be by accident. Yes. Some of it, it'll be self-inflicted. Yes. Amen. But I can guarantee you all the people that you're going to school with now aren't going to make it to graduation. That's right. And even if they make it to graduation, they may not make it past there. That's right. You say, Doug, I don't believe that. You come ask my son sitting on the front seat here. Mm -hmm. A day after they graduated, yeah. Harley, a girl overdoses. Yeah, that's right. A couple days after that, the kid's killed in a car wreck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, guess what? Yeah. John Thaxton isn't going to lose any business no. this week, Bill. Nope, that's right. All of these other places, they're not going to lose business this week. Yeah. But he says, I've slain your young men, and yet you've not returned unto me. Yeah. All these things I've done, and he said, yet you've not returned unto me. And it says that uh, I've overthrown some of you mm -hmm. as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Yeah. And as a firebrand, a firebrand, you were plucked out of the burning. Yeah. Folks, it seems like a long time ago, and I don't know, but on one of these year-end reviews, I'm sure they'll go over it. Folks, it was within this year that, guess what? Paradise burned down. Hawaii. That's surrounded by water. Yeah. And Sandy, they were diving into the harbor to escape the fire. That's right. Amen. Amen. Out west, how many towns has he just consumed? Yeah. Yes. Folks, listen, it would take a long time, Mike, for man to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what? We'd have to go and light and light and light all these fires. Mm -hmm. Even if you bombed the city, Bill, yeah. it would still take a while. But you know what God says? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Amen. And it was gone. Yes. He said, and yet you've not returned unto me. He says, because I've done this, and I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, yeah. O Israel. Yes. 
Folks, there are people that need to understand today you need to be prepared to meet God. Amen. Because you might not see tomorrow. That's right. Amen. Doug, you're trying to scare me. I'm trying to wake you up. Amen. Amen. There are people that, guess what? It's another year and nothing's changed. Another year and nothing's changed. And Listen, this isn't just Doug spouting this to you. Bill Hubert spouted this yes. for 43 years before I've been That's here. Right. That's right. So back here for the last 53 years, yeah. the message has been pretty consistent. Amen. Wake up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And not only me and Hubert, but other yes. people as well. Amen. Folks, even in Amos's time. Yes. In the book of Haggai, uh, Haggai 2.17, he says the same thing. I blasted you with uh, blasting and mildew and with <laughs> hail upon all the labors of your hands, yet ye turn not to me, saith the Lord. Folks, every minor prophet, the message is the same. Yes, that's right. Wake up. Amen. Come back to me. Yeah. Folks, guess what? Every church, the message should be the same. Amen. Every preacher, the message should be the same. Guess what? He's coming, and you better be ready. Amen. Because he's going to come in an hour that you think not. Amen. There are people that will go into the hospital this week, and Mary, they're never going to come out. True. Amen. There are people that are going to get on the school bus this week and they're never going to come home. Yeah, true. There are people that are going to go to work and they're never going to see their family again. That's right. In an hour that you think not. Yeah. Folks, uh, another year's ended and everything's the same. You know what it said? It said that uh, two would be grinding at the mill. Right. Mm -hmm. The one will be taken and the other left. Two would be uh, in the field. The one will be taken in the other way. Folks, right. you know what that means? Do you understand what that is? And in one of the other gospels, it says that two will be sleeping yeah. in the bed. One will be taken in the other left. Folks, when Christ comes back, it's going to be, Sandy, that quick. Yes, amen. And guess what? People are going to be operating just like business as usual, Becky. Yeah. There are going to be people going to work. There are going to be people that are asleep. There are going to be people watching TV. There are going to be people at their house. And guess what? When he comes. Yes. Amen. You want me to get really morbid on you? Bless him, Lord. You want me to really wake you up? Bless him. Hardly that. There are going to be people that when that day comes, they better pray that a Christian ain't driving the bus. Yes. Amen. Amen. They better pray that a Christian ain't flying the plane. Amen. Amen. They better pray that a Christian isn't doing this or that because guess what? It's all going to end right there. Amen. Amen. And what do you think is going to happen to the bus? Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen to the plane? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen to this or that? Better hope your, your doctor ain't a Christian if you're having surgery at that time. <laughs> Joe, can you imagine that the crying in the hospitals will be the same as it was in Egypt yeah, that's right. that night? Amen. A nurse will be ready to hand over an instrument. Guess what? The doctor ain't going to be there. Yeah. You know why? Yes. Jessica, Amen. if he was ready, he's gone. Amen. Right. Folks, that ought to be enough to, yeah. to drive you right here. That's right. Amen. Folks, if that isn't enough to drive you right here, guess what? I can't. <laughs> there's nothing else I can do. Yes, that's right. Bless him, Lord. He says, be prepared yeah. and be ready because in an right. hour that you think not, Amen. the Son of Man cometh. Amen. The Son of Man comes. And folks, he's still giving signs. Yes. He's still giving signs. He gave signs in Amos' day. He gave signs in Haggai and Jonah yeah. and all these prophets' time. He still gives signs today. Yes. <laughs> Second Timothy 3, uh, starting at the first verse, I believe. said, knowing this also, that in the last days, yeah. perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. <laughs> proud, blasphemers. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Disobedient to parents. Mike, I I made this comment a couple weeks ago, and I mean, I, I, folks, those of you that are parents today, I pray for you. I pray for you. Because Sandy, when we grew up, 
there wouldn't be this disobedience to parents yeah. that happens today. Yeah. And you know why there's disobedience to parents today? Bill, yeah. no fear. Amen. No fear of consequence. That's right. No fear of retribution. No, no, no shame in bringing shame on you or your family. That's right. Amen. Unthankful, unholy. Folks, we live in an entitlement society that Carlos, that's all they think is guess what? You owe me. You owe me. Folks, I don't owe you. Your parents don't owe you. The government doesn't owe you. That's right. Amen. God owed you one chance. Yes. That's right. And how many has he gave? Yes. Yes. Harley. Well, he's gave 365 of them at least for this year. Amen. I pray that he gives a few more next year. Yeah. But I pray more that people are ready. Yes. By the end of tonight. Yes. By the end of tonight. Folks, we talk about a watch service. Yes. Every time you come to church should be a watch service. Amen. Amen. That's right. But Joe, we've so uh, discounted just coming to church. Yeah. We need an event. Yeah. We need something special to draw people in. Yeah. When you can get out of your bed and come to church, that is the event. Amen. 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 We said this last week when he came in to the city, Bill, yeah. and they cried Hosanna. Yes. That was an event, and guess what? A week later, forgotten. Yes, that's right. Forgotten. That's right. Folks, you don't need an event. You don't need a moment. Mm -hmm. Guess what? There's a moment tonight. Mm -hmm. 60 seconds, that ball will light up and come yeah. down. Bill, I don't know how old I was when I watched the first one, but we've seen at least 50 of them. Yeah. Okay, we're Sorry. 54. But guess what? That's 60 seconds, and then that's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's done. Folks, there are people that treat Christ that way. Amen. There are people that treat God that way. They want a moment. Yeah. They want a feeling, but they don't want to change. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Folks, you can have your moment. You can have your feeling, but if there's no change, then guess what? You're yeah. lost. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You're lost. <laughs> yes. He said that if you knew what hour the thief would come, he would have watched so that his home wouldn't have been broken up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To watch. But still giving signs. Okay, uh, back to, to 2 Timothy 3. Yeah. Without natural affection. Yeah, amen. Without natural affection. Folks, there are people that would rather get high than take care of their kids. Amen. There are people that would rather get drunk than take yeah. care of their kids. Amen. That's where we're at. There are men sleeping with men. There are yeah. women sleeping with women. There are men and women sleeping with beasts. Yes, that's right. Becky, it's sad the, lot, the time that we live in. Yeah, it is. And if Paul can write about that, again, where are we at on the scale? Right. Folks, your, your, your toes are over the edge. Yes, amen. Heady, high-minded, truce breakers, yeah. incontinent. Folks, you know what incontinent means? It means no self-control. Yeah. Yeah. Harley, if, if there was ever an age where there's no self-control, it's now. Amen. Amen. And Bill, it don't matter whether it, it's his age That's or right. your age. That's right. Amen. No self-control. Right, right. Fierce despisers of those that do good. And again, we won't rehash last week's message. Bill Dunn told you go back and, and watch that. <laughs> Folks, we live in a time where they call evil good and good evil. That's where we're at. Amen. Having a form of godliness, yes. but denying the power thereof. Yeah. From such, turn away. Amen. Folks, Paul gives all these examples and said, listen. If these are the people that you're hanging out with, yeah. get better company. Amen. Get Amen. better company. Yes. Now, Doug, you don't know my friends. You don't know my family. I know this. Guess what? If it's January 31st and they're still not saved, they are going to hell That's right. if they die before the, the clock strikes midnight. Amen. That's right. Yes. I doubt there's many New Year's Eve messages like this, Harley, but that's all right. It's needed. Amen. It is. It's needed. It is. 
Folks, another year's ended, and there's no change. Yeah. And there's no change. Okay. And folks, guess what? There has to be a change. Yes, there does. Not a moment, not a feeling. There has to be a change. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. We quote this a lot, but folks, you know what that does? That puts the Otis on you. Yeah. You've got to do something. Mm -hmm. It says, "If my people, yeah, which are called by my name, yes, will humble themselves right. and pray and seek my face yeah. and turn from their wicked ways, turn from their wicked ways." Guess what? That means you got to do something. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then yes. will I heal for, will I hear from heaven and will heal their land and forgive their sin. Amen. Folks, you gotta do something. You gotta turn from your wicked ways. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Listen, Doug, I don't drink, I don't cuss, I don't do this, I don't do that. Do you go to church? <laughs> no, but I know I ought to. Have you accepted Christ as your Savior? No, but no, I ought to. Now, what do you think I'm going to quote? Yeah. <laughs> James 4, 17. Yes, amen. He that knoweth to do good yep. and doeth it not to him, it is sin. Amen. amen. Folks, I don't care if you haven't raped or pillaged or drank or did whatever, yeah. committed adultery, fornicate, whatever. Yeah. If you're telling me that on December 31st, you know that you ought to be saved and you're still not, then guess what? Yeah. You're in danger of perishing. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're in danger of perishing. You've got to change. That's right. You've got to change. It's got to be more than, well, yeah, I know I ought to. Yeah. I know I should. Do it. Yes. Amen. Do it. Yes. Bill, if I knew Nike wouldn't sue me, I'd... Put a big sign. Just do it. Just do it. Amen. Yes. Come to church. Just yes. do it. Yeah. Folks, there's got to be a change. There's got to be a change. Amen. And you got to watch. Yes. Okay. Another year's ended and there's still no change. Folks, for some people, that's good. For some people, that's good. Now, wait a minute, Doug. You beat on us for 20 minutes or whatever now. Now you're going to say, well, it's good if you don't change. If you're a Christian. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 15, 58, and then we'll close. Let's see more. Therefore, yeah. be ye steadfast, Amen. unmovable, yeah. always abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You know what that means? Guess what? January 7th, I should be in church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. April 25th. Doug, you already looked at the calendar? No, I'm just saying. Okay. Bless you. April 25th. October 2nd. September whatever. Folks, listen. Don't wait for this event or that event. Right. Be ye steadfast. You know Amen. what steadfast means? Yeah. It doesn't waver. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Unmovable. Yes. Folks, when it's church time, you should be in church. Amen. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Folks, not only be in church when it's church time, but guess what? When we leave, mm -hmm. that mindset, Harley, stays with us. Yes. Till the next appointed time that we get. Right. Amen. Till the next appointed time that we get. But folks, another year's ended. And there's still no change with a lot of people. Folks, are you going to change this year? Doug can't make you change. No. Uh -uh. God won't make you change. That's right. That's right. You've got to make up your mind. Am I going to change? Am I going to be ready? Yeah. And why you need to be ready? Because he'll come yes. at an hour that you think not. Amen. At an hour that you think not. Bill, get us a song. Folks, if you have a need today, if you're lost, we beg you, come. <coughs> come this morning. So if everybody would stand. Page 45. <coughs> Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood shed for me and that thou bidst me come to thee oh man of God I come I come
with many a con, with many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without, O oh man, of God I come, I come, just as Thank you so much for the beautiful Christmas card and gift card. I truly appreciate you remembering me this Christmas season and your love and prayers. Uh, I said I want to give a donation in memory of my loved ones, Roger, Tony, Dad, and Mom. May God bless you abundantly is my sincere prayer. I love you. And that's Dolores Hoffman. That's uh, Brother Hubert's, Hubert's daughter. Uh, folks, I don't know if you... You all realize this, but Dolores, over the years, when she hadn't been able to be here, Sandy, she has been faithful to pray, Mike. She's been faithful to give. Yes. And, uh, uh, folks, she is the definition of that 1 Corinthians 15, yes. 58. Amen. Always abounding, steadfast. Yes. Okay. Uh, announcements tonight will be service at 6 o'clock. So come back. Uh, Wednesday night will be prayer meeting, children's church and youth group, so remember that. Uh, for the month of January, the book of the month is actually going to be four books, okay? So y'all grown now, all right? <laughs> like you're all really reading it, okay? Uh, a book each week, okay? The first week of January, I want you to read Galatians. The second week, Ephesians the third week Philippians, and the last week Colossians, okay? Those have between four to six chapters each, okay? Real easy for you to knock out four books in a whole month. Uh, just uh, a chapter a day, or go back and, and read it again even, okay? But those four books for the month of January. All right, any other announcements? Again, uh, as Brother Greg would always say, enjoy the day that God's yes. made for us. Come back tonight if you can. If nothing else, Jonathan, dismiss us if you would. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Yes. We will be together out here and worship together in your name. Lord, we thank you for all the fellowship, the teaching, uh, the singing, the preaching. Just be with us and keep us in the next one together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.